Hey you right guys, Trish Bunches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 21 of Rain Season 1. Uh, the penultimate episode to the grand finale. Um, I'm pretty excited for this episode, I'm not going to lie, because last episode was so good. Uh, and I feel like it's really going to start picking up, like, well it's picked up anyway, it's like really good at the moment. But I mean, things are going to kick off um, leaving us ready for the finale and then we'll jump straight into season 2. I won't like wait any time so don't worry about that. Uh, and yeah, I'm just curious how they're going to end with season one. I think a character could die. Um, don't know who it will be, but I think a character always dies in a finale. And I'm thinking the same with the 100 as well. Like a character's gonna die in that finale. Uh, and yeah, hopefully it's just not Greer. <laughs> just Greer. Hopefully it's just ended, not Greer, leave Greer alone. Um, why would they kill Greer off, imagine? The moment they kill one of the handmaidens off like dead early on. Don't even know what her name was. Don't even remember her face. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the full uncut reaction, as well as early uploads to all of Rain, uh, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below. Help support the channel as well. And there'll also be links to Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow me on either of those. And finally, Discord if you want to join that and talk about Rain with myself and others. But yeah, episode 21, guys. Let's do it. For 200 years, the English have occupied our port city of Calais. But no longer. Yay. Calais is ours once again. Hold on, Francis. The Queen of England, Mary Tudor, is dead. Yay. Stuart. Yay. <laughs> oh, of course. Don't blame him. Go for it, kids. Now she got over after a couple months, I guess. Like, that's just no bother now. Because I will be the happiest and proudest father and husband anyone has ever seen. Ever? Okay. Well, that's a big statement. My lord, it grows darker. Yeah, no shit, Jesus. That was a very quick eclipse, like, mm, don't know. The fuck? It's all right. it's all right. You're born back to life! I'm not going to hurt you. It's alright. You're safe now. My name is Sebastian, and I want to help you. What's your name? Does, does anyone care about this haunting of the darkness story? Like... I know what it means. Who's this? That's some random peasant we found out in the woods. Was your family chosen? Were they sacrificed? Can you tell us what oh, no, Leave the boy alone. He's been through hell. Don't need to hold him over the coals. It's bounce, isn't it, Kenna? No one will hurt you here, I promise. Aww. Aww. I love Kenna. Men. It always works. Yeah. And was he always did with the penis and never the heart or the mind or the eyes. He says King Henry like refuses to delay while supplies are what Shakespeare said one day. He will not wait on England. Looking for Lord Julian. Will you tell him his uncle Bartos is here to see him? Bartos? More like banterous. Gross. <laughs> uh, Bartos. How good to see Bartos, you. Bartos, you good fellow. Weary. Please, come in. Thank you, leave us. Is he wearing a curtain? I have to tell you something. I have to do it quickly and you have to hear everything I say beyond something that will shock you. I don't understand. I love you. That is who I am. The man who loves you, but I'm not Lord Julian. What are you talking about? My real name is Remy. The fuck? I was Lord Julian. I thought that's what that scene meant, but I was like, there's got to be something else about this. Madness. But he's actually not even... Oh my god. Lord Julian Varga died in a terrible fire. We were traveling through Bavaria, the inn we stopped at burned to the ground. I didn't... I was carrying Julian's... Okay, this story got a bit more interesting. Assumed I was he. The story you told about being disenfranchised... That's, uh, grim. It didn't make sense, they weren't your family at all. Did you murder him? No. No, I did not. He's closed his mind to reason. No one can get through to him. This has gone on long enough. He has to be stopped. No. Absolutely not. Don't get sentimental about a father who was never <laughs> sentimental about you. They want to kill him. My father and the King of France. We owe him our allegiance. You're not going to get through to him. Like, sorry. 
You've tried for the past ten episodes. Yeah. We promised Francis time. The time is now. Catherine, I can't. How are you two still talking? You hate each other. Together, you and I are going to kill the King of France. What? <laughs> what are you standing like that? You've introduced me to his very silent. Just pissed himself. Give my directness, but I'd appreciate some of the same. Well, I, I can assure you the love he bore his wife is true, and that this is excruciating for Lady Lola to discuss. Is that so? How can anyone be sure of someone who lies so easily? <laughs> oh my God! Who imagine just, just sells him out. The cost. Lola. The cost is to me, to my reputation, to my faith in another, in my husband, a man I gave my heart to. I assure you, I can speak to his heart, torn apart daily as his feelings for you grew. And I can speak for the family. I had no idea about the depth of my nephew's gambling problems. To see you left in this way, I feel shame for my nephew. You can have all the money you need. It's going to work out great. The family will take care of you financially and the child. You make a passionate case. If only Julian had your depth of feeling. Well, if that's all there is to be said for now. Is that it? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, man. Is that Julian's ring? It's Julian's signet ring. Why are you wearing my nephew's ring? You idiot. See? You're not so scary. It was going much. so well. Bath and some lovely covers to sleep under. You wore his ring. You know when I was you know <laughs> My mother had a blanket. Oh, Kenna's gorgeous. Stop. What? A straight arrow. No, it's too dangerous with Francis at his side. What about poison? Could you get something past his tasters? Mary. It backfired. <laughs> Pack your things. We'll leave tonight. Okay. Let's go. He's not. He has no intention of leaving. I'll think of some excuse. <laughs> I need to go with her. There is nothing quite like the feast of a fresh kill. Hmm? <laughs> I feel cleaner, stronger, ready to take on England. Yeah, taking on all of England. Imprisoned him in Madrid. Under the cruelest conditions. One day my brother and I were taken to visit him. He saw a boat and he ran to us. I ran to him. He passed us by and jumped in the boat. What? We'd been traded as hostages for his freedom. Oh. Why Jesus. He was the one who arranged it. I learned it with my brother. Beaten and starved for three years. Father. When we returned... Well, the most human moment is that. There was no loving embrace. Then you have so much more to do in France before you turn to England. Come on, convince him. That is you it. have already achieved the glory. Now do the good. Come on, Henry, or are you going to die, mate? Where is Lord Julian? He's standing right there. Oh! This man. this man. And this woman? His wife, my lord, Lady Lola. Get out, Benjamin, just go. You took my nephew. Well done, name. Benjamin. Answer me. It was an accident, I swear. Oh, well, there we go. No, let go, let go, stop it, stop it, please. It's gonna... <laughs> That's God. bullshit. No. I killed him. That's so easy. Oh my God. I did it. What? I convinced him to postpone the invasion. France is safe. He listened to me. Mary, what have you done? Started trickling back She's done something. I could actually see my father again. I'm not saying that he's cured. That may take time. Mary, what have you done? What is it? What's wrong? Oh my god. What have you done? Oh, time is of the essence. <laughs> yeah, Henry's still probably gonna fuck up, but. Oh my god. <laughs> Go on, Emery! Who sent you? God 
two stuck in his knuckle. Fuck. Catherine, another failed assassination attempt. Maybe you're just not suited to domestic life. Maybe neither of us are. For all your confidence, I think you've seen yourself oh, as come a plaything of us. You two are just getting good. I know you were handed to me like an object. A punchline for what we both thought was a cruel joke. But this marriage is no longer something that happened to me. It's... You are what I want. And I want to come back to you. You bad dude. They all adorable, Adam. That's fair enough. Then come back to me. Or I'll kill you myself. I still think him and Mary were the best thing to happen in the show. It's not even a joke, they weren't that good. If it worked before, it can work again. Oh wow. And you can vanish without You two are criminals. What, you? what have I left you with? Our memories before tonight? <laughs> Before and tonight. Respectability for this child. And you, a widow. We can never see each other again. I know. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Boy on himself. We haven't much time. The servants could return at any moment. Go back to French court. Don't be alone. There are too many. Well, this little happily ever after didn't last too long. We do you want to tell me what happened to your father? Bad man killed him. Oh, dude! I think you're ignorant. I think the bloodlust is in you. Oh my god. Whoever wow. kills him will someday be punished. Bad men always get what they deserve. Oh, if you didn't mention that, like you killed my dad. Francis Henry had to be stopped. It wasn't an easy decision to make, but I thought it was the only way. The twists and turns in this episode. I wanted to relinquish your claim to England. I stood by you, and today when I told you what I wanted, I thought you stood by me as well. All Instead, right, Francis. You worked with my mother. You've betrayed her. France. She's betrayed you multiple times. Stay. You're just not that great together. Maybe we should just accept this. I didn't want you to carry that burden for the rest of your life. I did what you couldn't do. I did it for France. For the nation that you used to put before all else, even me. Because that is what rulers do. What is wrong with you? He is my father. It's a bit messed up. I don't really agree with Mary on this, but I'm just saying, like... There are risks that you take for the people that you love. You used to know that. All right, mate. Because you know that so well. He's lost. I must kill my son and wed his wife. What? I mean, sure. If that's what you need to do, mate, go for it. <laughs> there we go, guys. That is episode 21 of Rain Season 1. Uh, really solid episode. I enjoyed that one. I liked all the little twists and turns that they had going throughout it. Um, we'll start with what I think was the weakest part of the episode, which was Bash hunting the darkness. Again, I've never cared for that story. I never will. It's just, it feels like such a little side plot that never really affects the main story. Um, I did like the little, uh, little thing that the, the kid actually witnessed him killing that guy, um, like back in episode, what episode was that, like five or six? Like really, that was a really early episode. Um, definitely within the first ten. I can't remember exactly which one. But I like that. I like that that's, that's come back around. It hasn't really affected Bash because Bash doesn't know that. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully something comes of it. And Kenna and him are really growing on me. They're not one of my favourite couples in the show. But they're, they're getting there. They're in my top like three. They're probably my third favourite. Bash and Mary being one. And then Greer and Leith being second of course. Um, then we had the load of storyline. It would have been boring. I thought it was just going to be them two bumbling around the house. Talking about how they love each other and whatever but we found out that he's not actually who he says he is uh, and then they killed the guy who came to investigate that i just that story is a bit more interesting now if we never see him again i'm not going to lose any sleep over it i never found him that interesting of a character but it made that story 
and it made a lot of what's happened previously with those two like makes it makes it more sense because he was just lying the whole time so uh yeah it was it wasn't amazing but i did like i appreciate that they had that in because it would have just been boring if you just had them two in it for no reason again um and then we had all the whole mary catherine francis bash stuff going on uh trying to assassinate henry failing yet again um two people tried to assassinate him i'll give that henry he has like nine lives but don't, don't know how he's insane um i feel like he could die next episode i feel like he's i said this a couple of episodes ago as well but he's outdone his time um he's just the same as he has been for ages now um and i don't think they can do anything at this point to change him back so i think it's i think they'll kill him off in the finale or the premiere of season two um I just don't see him. I just don't see what they can do with him at this point. It's becoming ridiculous. I love him. Don't get me wrong. I love his character, but it is becoming ridiculous. And then Mary and ba uh, Mary and Francis. Sorry, it just still go. They just don't have any chemistry. I know they're doing a lot of people's eyes, which is fine. But for me personally, there's just no chemistry there. They're always betraying each other. Mary tried to kill his dad. Like, yeah, he probably deserves to die, but dude, it's just ugh, ridiculous. And then Francis tries to make out he's like this saint and is like, we should always tell each other everything and have trust. It's like, okay, because two episodes ago you didn't lock her in a tower. Idiot. So, and he's betrayed her plenty of times as well. They're just, they're just, no, just, no. Uh, so yeah, I enjoyed this episode and it's. I think it's set it off really well for the finale, which I'll be watching later this week, I think. I think like towards the end of the week. So I'll have the finale up for then. And yeah, overall, with this episode, I'm going to give it an 8.2 out of 10. I think it's a very strong one. I do think the bash stuff was a little bit weaker. If that was stronger, it would have been a higher rate. Um, but luckily, the load of story was actually okay. And I loved what was going on with Francis, Mary, and Henry and all that. So yeah. Thank you for watching, though, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Everything that I mentioned at the start of the video will be in the pinned comment down below. So make sure to check some of those out. And I'll see you next time for the grand finale, episode 22. Until then, peace.